Hello everyone, uh, Django here. Here's a, a Sabre that I completed uh, on the third day of my vacation. Took a little bit of time off to get caught up on some projects and some client builds. Anyway, this is an Arm on Fire's uh, custom Bane. Um, it is custom machined MHS parts. Um, or, yeah, pretty much custom machined MHS parts. The only thing that's stock is really here is the pommel. Well, um, before I get into that, I wanted to show you guys a regular Ultra Sabers Bane. I'll just to do a little comparison. Um, as you can see, there, the styling on them is pretty different. The Ultra Sabers one is a little bit longer. It's also a little bit heavier. It weighs in at uh, the hilt alone at 1.06 pounds. The Arm on Fire one weighs in at 1.02 pounds. So we got a little bit of disparity there. Um, as to which one I like better, um, they both have their pluses and minuses. Uh, this one looks a, a lot more menacing and it's very accurate to the uh, the comic from uh, Dark Horse. Um, I quite like it a lot. So, you know. Anyway, back on to the Arm on Fire re review deal. Okay. This one, um, as I said, it's got the powder coating here. Um, this button here, uh, I custom made it. It's made out of a mall button, and it is the blade retention screw. Um, there is one anti-vandal here. This is the um, idle LED, and this is the main power. Uh, the reason I did it that way was because I wanted to use a, a crystal focus board in it. I didn't plan on that originally when uh, he and I were talking about uh, the build, but once it got here I, I didn't really want to put anything else in it. I just wanted to uh, put a crystal focus in it because I liked it so much. Um, so, And the reason I did it this way is so this is really low profile. I use the uh, anti-power off feature where you have to use both buttons to turn it off and I find that um, with this setup that I don't accidentally turn it off or um, you know even hit this button accidentally. Uh, there's a recharge port in the pommel. One of my uh, custom kill keys. Uh, the crystal focus in it is a 4.31. Um, there's the idle LED. Up here in the top there is a Sol P4 red. Uh, on an MHS, excuse me, MLS quick change setup. If I wanted to, I can change it easily. Um, there's also, let's see, what four NIMH AA batteries uh, wired in series. So it's got a really long run time with the setup that it's got going on here. Probably about two hours without recharging. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. There are two LEDs there in the pommel. It's pretty loud. There's also an LED inside here to give this a little bit of illumination too. I don't know if you can see that. There you can. And it blinks on and off with all the rest of them. The idle LED blinks. And you can see the P4 in there. It's pretty bright. Okay, for the sound fonts. Mad Cow's Vader, Episode Three, Sidious, and Nova Star Sidious, Now let's go ahead and go with that one. You have been well trained, my young apprentice. They will be no match for you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a blade in it. Oops. This is a custom fitted Ultra Edge with a pointed tip that I made earlier today.
nice and bright P4 road. There, you can see two of them lit up side by side. What a treat. <laughs> well, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the show. Later.